Hi friends, welcome once again. In this session, we are going to discuss regarding design of vibration fixture. What is vibration fixture? Vibration fixture is nothing but interface between the vibrator as well as the equipment under testing. Equipment under testing can be a structure or it can be an electrical equipment or electronic equipment. In the first picture, I have used steel material for the construction of vibration fixture. Density of steel material is 7860 kg per meter cube. Hence, mass is 46.104 kgs. And then similarly, in the second uh, picture you can observe, I have used aluminum material instead of steel material. Density of uh, aluminum material is 2710 kg per meter cube. Mass of the structure is 15.896 kgs. Here, the density of aluminum is approximately one third of the density of steel material. Coming to third picture, here I have used magnesium material. Density of magnesium is 1798 kg per meter cube. That is the reason mass is 10.546 kg. Why do we uh, change the material? What is the necessity of discussing the mass uh, factor? The reason is natural frequency always depends on the mass of the structure. You know very well natural frequency is inversely proportional to the mass of the structure that is Fn is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of k by m where k is stiffness, m is mass. Hence it is essential to reduce the mass in order to increase the natural frequency of the vibration. What is natural frequency? Why should we increase the natural frequency of vibration picture? Because always there is a test range frequency that is it is something in the range of 10 to 500 hertz or 10 to 2000 hertz depends on the application. Uh, if the designer has to design a perfect or better vibration fixture, if there should not be any, any resonance. What is resonance? A resonance is coincidence of the natural frequency of structure or uh, vibration fixture with that of the test range frequency. If it coincides, then the amplification of the excitation is going to happen. Ultimately, it will lead to the failure of the equipment under testing. It may lead to the failure of the vibrator also. In order to avoid this kind of situation, we must ensure that we are going to design a better vibration fixture. What is a better vibration fixture? It must have its fundamental frequency at least 1.5 times that of the highest test range frequency. What is that uh, concept? For example, if the test range frequency is from 10 hertz to 2000 hertz, then in that range the highest frequency is 2000 hertz. So I have to design the vibration fixture in such a way that the vibration fixture natural frequency that is the fundamental natural frequency is 1.5 times 2000 hertz that is 3000 hertz. But in practical scenario, it is very difficult to design such kind of vibration fixture. So that is the reason how exactly we can follow the gui design guidelines in order to improve the natural frequency of the vibration fixture. Let us see one by one. The first point, fixture to be symmetrical in construction. You have seen in this, we, uh, we have symmetrical construction. This and this, both of them are symmetrical with reference to each other. Coming to second point, fixture to be as compact as possible. Uh, we discussed earlier, the natural frequency is inversely proportional to the mass and also as the height increases the natural frequency decreases that is the reason it must be as compact as possible. It has to be as light as possible because natural frequency is inversely proportional to mass of the fixture. Avoid immediate change in cross section of fixture. In this picture we have seen here it is gradual change in cross section it is not immediate change in cross section because this is going to be a stress concentration factor that is the reason avoid immediate change in cross section in the vibration fixture design. Ensure that the combined center line of both fixture as well as test specimen coincides or it is very close to the center line of vibration tester otherwise it will lead to resonance. Ensure that the total payload is within the vibrator range. Always you must look into the specification. And next point is avoid interfaces and bolted joints. See these bolted joints what they do is they provide area they do not provide area contact they provide only point contact you know very well stress is equal to load per unit area the area contact is is uh, pin contact so that is the reason what happens is stress is more it is not going to provide area contact that is the reason always prefer building 
either use solid block construction or welding solid block construction is not economical that is the reason go for welding welding must be uh, continuous you should not be inter intermediate or we should not use pot welding avoid discontinuities and stress concentration areas discontinuities uh, what they do is they reduce the stiffness of the structure ultimately they are going to reduce the natural uh, frequency of the structure that is the reason avoid discontinuities optimize clearance hole size for hold down bolts and guide pins what happens is uh, in order to fix the fasana we may provide excessive clearance avoid it uh, provide optimized clearance hole even for the guide pins if the equipment has guide, guide pins uh, always provide optimized uh, hole size if you increase the size it is going to amplify sometimes it's going to be 10 times sometimes sometimes it's going to be 100 times avoid usage of thin plates they are going to behave like springs leaf springs they're going to increase the intensity of vibration prefer aluminium over steel magnesium is preferable to aluminium do not allow fixture to extend beyond vibration table this most important if required use the extender plate provide height of fasteners to integrate the fixture on tester and equipment on fixture there are different kinds of uh, fasteners like cheese head or socket head so every type of fastener will have different torque value always pro use high torque fasteners Treat all fasteners by applying optimized torque value as per design specification mating surfaces must be as flat as possible use gdnt for this maintain the flatness because it is going to increase the area contact the stress is going to decrease always maintain that use as many fasteners as possible to assemble the, assemble the equipment this increases the uh, area contact and the stiffness of the structure also we have observed that one bolt is going to increase the natural frequency by around 50 hertz always maintain that a combined center of gravity of fixture and unit to be as low as possible if you increase the height of the structure the natural frequency is going to decrease and failure of the structure at uh, the lowest natural frequency is higher avoid hollow construction hollow construction is discontinuity it is going to decrease the stiffness of the structure and ultimately natural frequency if at all it cannot be avoided fill it with uh, materials like composite materials pu foam or sand avoid unsymmetrical mounting of equipment uh, if possible use two equipments otherwise structurally balance the vibration fixture fundamental frequency of fixture to be at least 1.5 this we have already discussed uh, provide enough stiffness to improve the stiffness rather than increase increasing the thickness provide small holes to reduce the weight without compromise in the quality of the structure that is reduction in stiffness that's all for today friends thank you thank you for your valuable time and patience do subscribe to my videos and keep supporting